What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Warzone and today I'd like to talk about perks and what are the best perks to run in each slot. I know a lot of you out there may have played the game since it was released. You play a lot of multiplayer so you know what these perks do but there's a lot of new people coming to the game with a free battle royale. We're going to see tons of new people that have never played Call of Duty. Tons of people that have played Call of Duty but it's been a long time. Maybe just some battle royale players from different games. So I'm going to kind of go over these perks, explain exactly what they do and what are some of the best perks to run in each slot. I did talk about this a little bit in my loadout video. If you have not seen it, I'll pop it up in the top corner right now where I talk about some of the best weapons to use in Warzone. But this is going to be a little bit longer video. I know I don't usually do long videos on the channel, but when I'm trying to explain something, you know, go in depth with something, I like to make sure that, you know, I get... Let everyone understand exactly what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Starting off with Double Time in Perk 1. I think Double Time is great because Double Time gives you the duration, or uh, double the time of the duration of Tactical Sprint. Now, Tactical Sprint in-game is when you double tap your Sprint button. You get that extra speed boost. And, of course, the great thing about it also is you get the increased uh, crouch movement by 30%. So if you're crouched, you're having to move around slowly. You have a little bit, you'll be able to move a little quicker. And of course, if you need to move fast from point A to point B in Warzone, uh, that double the duration of tactical sprint is also very good. The next one on the list, of course, is EOD. This takes uh, reduced damage from non-kill streak explosives, so things like grenades, C4, and fire damage. So there's Molotovs in the game. Of course, there's grenades in the game. There's C4 in the game. Any of this stuff can hurt you. The worst thing, in my opinion, is to get down to a final circle. Someone have a trip mine or a claymore out. You open up a door, you hit it. You get down, you die, whatever the case may be. And EOD definitely can prevent that. So EOD and Double Time are two of the better uh, perks in Perk 1. But there's two others that also are very good in my opinion. Scavenger is really not needed. In my opinion, there's no need to run Scavenger. There's tons of ammo everywhere. Now, if they reduce the ammo amount on the ground in the Warzone map, I might could see using Scavenger. But as of right now, I can run around within the first minute or two and be full on AR and sub ammo pretty easily. Cold-Blooded is another really good perk to run. If you like to snipe, I would highly recommend using Cold-Blooded because this will make you undetectable by thermal optics. Tons of snipers in the game, and there's tons of snipers that use thermals. So if you're standing somewhere for a long period of time sniping, it is really good to not be able to be picked up by thermal optics, and it will definitely save your life in my opinion. And if you have a thermal on yourself, you have Cold-Blooded on, you're going to be able to see the enemy, and they're not going to be able to see you. Of course, this also does not trigger the high alert warning, which some people do use. I'm not a huge fan of a high alert in Perk 2, but it is uh, being used by some players, so that's also another benefit. Now, when it comes to Kill Chain, Kill Chain is a perk that's used a lot in multiplayer, but in Warzone, it does something a little bit different. In Warzone, it increases your chance of finding kill streaks in supply drops. While that is great, it's awesome to have kill streaks, awesome to have UAVs, whatever the case may be. You only can carry one at a time, so if you find multiple ones, you're going to have to mark them and let your team pick them up. And I just do not feel that running this in Perk 1 is a necessity. I think there's a lot of, other, uh, a lot of the other ones we have talked about are a lot better than Kill Chain, in my opinion. And last but not least, we have Quick Fix, which may be the most underrated Perk 1 uh, thing that you can use, or Perk 1, you know, a slot that you can fill with Quick Fix. This is probably one of the best ones because killing players immediately starts health regeneration which is very handy if you're in 2v1, 3v1, if you're away from your team. As soon as you kill a player, your health regen starts immediately. You can throw those uh, armor plates back on, get your health back up, while the other enemies are waiting, or the, you know, the people that you're fighting is waiting for their health to regen. Of course, everybody's health regens automatically, but Quick Fix is going to make it even faster. Also, capturing and holding object objectives increases your health regeneration. Now, I have not tested this because I have not been injured and had, you know, a secure the area contract to know if I'm injured and I go secure that area with my health regen quicker. I'm assuming it would, but mainly, like I said, this is for killing uh, players and then immediately starting that health regeneration. Of course, next we're going to move on to Perk 2. And there's a couple good ones in, in, in Perk 2, in my opinion, and the rest are just really not worth using. Uh, restock, of course, in Warzone, recharges equipment over 50 seconds. So every 50 seconds, you will have uh, your lethal and tactical restocked. If you do have not used them yet, you will have two lethals, two tacticals. So always keep that in mind. This is a really good perk, in my opinion, if you like to run smoke. That way you can consistently have smoke for your team to help out. Uh, next is we hardline. In Warzone, hardline gives you 25% off kiosk prices for killstreaks, field upgrades, and armor plates. 
While this is not a bad perk, I still don't feel like it's a necessity once again in perk two. There's a lot better things you can be running. You can find money in the game pretty quickly, especially if you drop in some you know, high loot areas. There's some places on the map that just have tons of money. And I just don't feel like running hardline is that good. Now, if you find yourself playing slow, you don't get a lot of money, you want to make sure you have field upgrades or kill streaks or armor plates, I can understand why you might want to run this, but it would not be one that I would recommend for everyone. Overkill is probably, in my opinion, the best perk in perk two because you can carry two primary weapons and you can put five attachments on both of those primary weapons. So you can carry an AR and a sub, an AR and a sniper, an LMG, so on and so on. Uh, and this makes overkill probably the go-to for most players because they want to make sure they have enough ammo. They want to make sure they're comfortable with both weapons once they get their loadout. So I think having uh, overkill in perk two is pretty much everybody's go-to. But there's still one more, I think, that is uh, pretty good in my opinion. Of course, high alert, your vision pulse whenever enemies outside of your view see you. Now, this can be good in multiplayer, but in Warzone, you could be getting spotted from a sniper a long way away, and you're going to have that vision pulse, and you're going to be paranoid about somebody being right around you. So I don't feel that high alert is that great. The next one, of course, Ghost, is probably the other perk in Perk 2 that I think is very good because you're undetectable by uh, UAVs radar drones, and heartbeat sensors. And all three of those are used in Warzone and in kind of the end game, a small circle, someone could have a heartbeat sensor out, a UAV out, a drone out, and this could save you from being spotted by the enemy. Last but not least is Point Man. All members of your team earn money from your complete, or from completed missions. Or earn more money, excuse me, from completed missions. Um, if you do missions a lot, I can maybe understand using point man, but as of right now, I, when using it, I don't feel like I get a benefit from it. Like I would from ghost overkill or restock. Now moving on to perk three. Uh, the first thing we're going to look at is tracker. This is the one that I usually use the most of the time for me personally. I like tracker enemies leave behind a footprint trail. You see markers at the enemy death locations and hide the death markers of enemies you kill. There's a lot of stuff going on within Tracker that is very handy. First of all, if someone's firing at you, you're firing at them, you get in a gunfight, they run away to heal up, put in armor plates, you can see where their footprints are if they're close enough to you. Now, if they're at long distance, you're not going to be able to see it. But if someone throws down a smoke, tries to run, or up, or try to, tries to run away in close vicinity, you're going to be able to track them very easily or at least see where they have gone so you can kind of plan out your attack. Of course, seeing markers at enemy death locations also is very handy. And hiding the death markers of enemies you kill is probably one of the best things out of all of it. Because if you're running a silencer, you hide that death marker of an enemy you kill. Their teammates don't even know where you're at and they do not know where their teammate just died. Of course, spotter, you see enemy equipment, field upgrades, kill streaks through walls, mark them for your team. You can hack claymores, proximity mines, C4, and trophy systems. I guess this could be used in some very small situational spot but overall i do not feel like spotter is really worth running now battle harden reduces the strength of flashes stuns emp and gas effects immune to snapshot grenades you get hit with a snapshot grenade every once in a while but enemies do use flashes and stuns a good bit when they're rushing you so battle harden is always a good pick in perk three in my opinion and there's a lot of times i've gotten flashed when i've had tracker on i wish i'd had battle harden on because i lost a gunfight almost at the end of the game. And there's a lot of spam of grenades and flashbangs and stuff when the circle is very small. Shrapnel, you will spawn with an extra piece of lethal equipment and explosive damage delays enemy health regen. So you will have an extra grenade uh, or an, you know, an extra piece of lethal equipment. This is good in my opinion because of that enemy uh, health regen delay. You could hit an enemy with a grenade and go rush them really quick and be able to kill them before they're able to heal up. Also, Amped is not a bad pick either. You have faster weapon swap and rocket launcher reload speed. If you run overkill, it's not a bad idea to run amped because you will be able to swap between weapon one and weapon two a lot quicker. And last but not least, we have tune up, which reduces your revive time by 25%, which can come in extremely handy if you go down in a bad spot. If you go down in a situation where there's a lot of enemies around, being able to reduce your revive time by 25% is probably underrated, kind of like. Um, like I talked about, you know, um, quick fix being underrated, quick fix and tune up are probably two perks that are very underrated in Warzone As of right now, you don't see a lot of people running them, but I think they're both very viable in the perk one and the perk three slot. 
So guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what perks you're running. Hope this helped you out if you are new to the game. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.